In downtown Osseo, there's a shop that's about as old school as it gets, yet inside there's delicate skill and craftsmanship. Today in Business Matters, Corey Bork pays a visit to the kind of place we don't see as much of these days. Well, wow, look who's here. You're still here. I'm still here, this? and you still remembered. <laughs> Inside Michael's Boots and Shoe Repair, Luann Miller has a purse she wants adjusted. Yeah, this is real easy. Michael's Zastani has just the answer. Better? Right, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, try the other one. At 71 years old, Zastani knows a thing or two about fixing things. About the only thing he hasn't fixed is the name on his store. Back in 1962, they made an um, error on the spelling and they forgot the E, so we left it that way. He can thank a sign company for that one. But unlike the sign, he fixes more than just shoes. Like jackets and, and chaps and Harley Davidson vests and just all kinds of stuff that I do here. And it's not easy work. So the first thing you do is you rip off the heel. He shows us what it takes to make a pair of Tony Lama boots new again. Better watch your fingers. She'd never go towards them, but I do anyway. Zastani says he treats every pair of boots like they are his own. And you cut the old sole off. It's a testament to the work ethic he learned from his Austrian parents. You have to rub up the sole. And having a dad who taught him almost everything there is to know about fixing shoes. I took it on and I showed him different ways of making it easier. <laughs> While his work ethic hasn't changed, the shoe repair industry has. Oh, there was one in every corner. That was when he started in the 1960s. So you, now he estimates there's know. about 10 to 12 places like his left in the Twin Cities. Young people don't take care of their shoes. Attitudes have changed too. You know, if they made shoes like they did back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, it wouldn't be real easy. People would be happier too with their stuff. It's also not easy to find help. There are drawbacks to being your own boss. You can't fire yourself. His only employee? Himself. It's why he usually doesn't have time to clown around, with one exception. The lady came in with a clown, and the, the shoes were about inch and a half big. She wanted me to put a Birkenstock sole on those shoes. It's dedication like that his customers can appreciate. You don't find guys like him. Like Michael. Anywhere. <laughs> For business matters. Somebody should take it over that's as talented as him. Corey Bork, CCX News. Since Michael began his shoe repair business in 1962, he counts more than 19,000 customers. On a good day, he gets about 12 to 15 repair orders, and depending on the fix, the turnaround time is typically about a week.